Dr. Dream was rolled out by Stan Lee and by Jack Kirby in the image of Satanist Aleister Crowley in the year 1961. Kirby is not only one of the top creators behind many of the most popular comic characters, but he apparently opened himself up to demonic forces and demonic possession as a child. A couple years after Stan Lee and Jack Kirby rolled out Satanist Aleister Crowley in the form of Dr. Drew in 1961, he'd be morphed not only into Dr. Druid, but finally into Dr. Strange. And in 1964, they would also roll out Wanda, aka the Scarlet Witch, which is reminiscent of Crowley's Scarlet Witch, which he dubbed the Scarlet Woman. Crowley twisted the Whore of Babylon mentioned in the biblical book of Revelation, chapter 17, which speaks of the wicked city which rides upon the beast or the Antichrist empire and how she is spiritually polluted with sorcery, a lust for money and power, and is filled with the blood of the martyred saints. The book of Revelation says of the scarlet whore of Babylon, quote, Then the angel carried me away in the spirit into a wilderness. There I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast, and it was covered with blasphemous names and had seven heads and ten horns. The woman was dressed in purple and scarlet and was glittering with gold, precious stones and pearls. She held a golden cup in her hand, filled with abominable things and the filth of her adulteries. The name written on her forehead was a mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of prostitutes and of the abominations of the earth. I saw that the woman was drunk with the blood of God's holy people, the blood of those who bore testimony to Jesus. Crowley, who identified with the beast, the book of Revelation, hoped to fulfill the role of the Antichrist, used this biblical personification of the Scarlet Woman as an object of worship and his own personified sex magic whores, of which he listed over half a dozen women who played that role as a Scarlet Woman in his sex magic rituals. For Crowley, the role of the Scarlet Woman was to work with the beast to manifest the birth of the satanic Eon of Horus to replace Christianity. To get an idea of how Marvel's Crowley and characters are impacting young people who are watching the Disney Channel, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and other satanic programming, we can see the huge impact of comic aficionados like Comic Girl 19, who has about half a million subscribers to her channel. Here we see her dressed in scarlet like the Horror Babylon with her golden cup by her side, celebrating the Scarlet witch. Comic Book Girl here notes that she sees a number of parallels between the teachings of Satanist Celeste Crowley and how to worship the Scarlet Witch in Disney's WandaVision series. Speaking of witches, now let's take a moment to discuss some of the things in the show that pinged my occult radar. Now, one of the divine deities that the Thelemites worship is Babylon, aka the Scarlet Woman, aka the Great Mother. Oh, wow. And how do Thelemites worship Babylon, Mom? Followers, or adepts on the path of Thelema, set themselves on a spiritual journey. And on this mystical quest, they must cross what is called the Abyss, a great void of nothingness, an in-between place that straddles perceived manifest reality and the pure source energy beyond physical existence that is the true formless form of the material universe. While traveling the abyss, one will be tested by the Dweller in the Void, a demon named Koranzan, who will try to trap you in a world of illusion and keep you from the Scarlet Woman, who is just on the other side of this place that is not a place. And if one is able to cross the abyss without being trapped and get to the other side, then they must give themselves fully to Babylon, and then they will be reborn as a master. Comic Girl is so enthralled with occult themes and what the book of Revelation depicts as evil with regard to the Scarlet Woman that she goes on to promote Alan Moore's Promethea, which is also inspired by Satanist Aleister Crowley. If you're interested in reading a comic that beautifully illustrates the idea of a Scarlet Woman presiding over an ideological apocalypse, as well as taking a trip through the Kabbalistic spheres, then I highly recommend checking out Alan Moore and J.H. William III's Promethea, books one through five. You will not be disappointed. Wanda Maximoff, or the Scarlet Witch, started off as a mutant, but she's had her origin story recanned, and she became a witch capable of wielding chaos magic. The essence of chaos magic is the ability to change reality through perception and magical means, which is exactly what Wanda is capable of doing. Comicbook.com states, quote, Wanda is the Scarlet Witch of chaos magic. The concept of the Scarlet Witch was not only inspired by Crowley's Scarlet Woman and the biblical whore of Babylon, 
but Crowley's satanic teachings on magic are considered one of the major influences behind chaos magic. Wikipedia's page on chaos magic cites Aleister Crowley, along with Austin Spear, as the early influences of chaos magic. Cambridge University's website states that, quote, chaos magic, which they spell with a K, is an innovation of 20th century occultism that draws influence from a variety of sources, including occultists such as Aleister Crowley and Austin Osmond Spear. Chaos magic is often spelled with a K at the end of the word magic because this spelling was originally introduced by Satanist Aleister Crowley because he believed that the letter K was his magical Kabbalistic letter. The Scarlet Witch uses this Crowley and Satanic chaos magic throughout the 2022 movie Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. In episode 8 of Disney and Marvel's WandaVision, the witch Agatha Harkness reveals to Wanda that she is a limitless well of chaos magic and reveals to her that the dark powers of chaos magic that she channels make her the Scarlet Witch. You're supposed to be a myth, a being capable of spontaneous creation. Here you are, using it to make breakfast for dinner. Let go of my children. Oh yes, your children. The vision, this whole little life you've made. This is chaos magic, Wanda. And that makes you the Scarlet Witch. Disney and Marvel for years have seduced countless young people into witchcraft and the occult, considered abominations to God by advertising occult powers for those who would open their hearts and their minds to these powers through their movies and TV shows. Here we see shirts that have been made promoting the Scarlet Witch and the Crowley inspired chaos magic. Hey, Joe Schimmel here. We want to thank you for watching. We want to also encourage you not to forget to sign up or subscribe to Good Fight Ministries' YouTube channel. We have the most amazing content. We also have the very popular Good Fight radio show where we examine all kinds of things in light of scripture, as well as 5.11 News, which is also very eye-opening. And we also have mind-blowing video exposés that you won't see anywhere else. So thanks again. We'll see you later. And we just pray that the Lord blesses you richly as you seek His face. God bless.